Well, uh, this is how you destroy a format. Make sure you guys smash living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys uh, don't miss out on more ass awesome content. You want to talk about taking a format out back and blowing it up? This is the uh, the definition of this. So, forbidden on Master Duel now. So, this, uh, I believe this puts Master Duel, so this confirms that all three formats wanted to line up, right? Because, uh, ooh, this is devastating. Chaos Roller went from three to zero. His cards are now banned in all three formats. Very strange, by the way. Maybe if Konami errated this thing to be able to only do either the Excavate or the Revive, card would be fine, I personally think. But, you know, who knows? Uh, now, this this is interesting. Wyvern Buster got banned. Um, I don't know. Is this is this really a problem? Like, is this did this have to happen? Because like this had to be a sign that Dragon Link was doing some very inappropriate things that they needed to do something about. So R.I.P. this uh, card of demise. Yeah, I uh, don't blame them for this. The main thing you're gonna see on this list is the fact that they wanted to blow the crap out of the Runic Stun deck. Runic Stun has been a massive, massive Master Duel issue for quite some time. And, yeah, I mean, like, l looking, look at this list, look at this list. T tell me where the Runic cards ended up hurting you and just being a devastating, you know, part of the meta. And, of course, this is Super Heavy Samurai Soul Breaker armor. I can't believe that they didn't actually do anything about this. Now, this this leads to an entire, like, FTK scenario out here where you can do some, like, severe gas, like, loop <laughs> that, like, just, it's, it's, what is it, uh, the Musaro? Just OTKs or FTKs your opponent with this. So I, I perfectly understand them needing to get this out. Uh, Fenrir going to one. Fenrir is only at three in the TCG, but you know, the honestly, the TCG is pushing for more of a going second format, so cash is not much of a problem in our meta. Like, I once again, I don't think anybody has an issue with this. Spectre Border going to one when Runic Stun is one of the best decks that you can play in a meta game in a one out of one scenario. You have problems, and that's why we're now seeing Border going to one. There can only be one. This is beautiful. Um, floodgates. Someday. Someday. You know, I understand that Konami's looking at Floodgates right now, and they're identifying them as some very problematic cards. I don't blame them for this. All right, floodgates inherently make the game unfun for people. Um, so to see that we're moving this to one, it makes sense. <laughs> now we can truly say there can only be one. Uh, runic Destruction, yeah, if there was ever a Runic spell that you wanted to clean up, it's this thing. Honestly, um, I think Destru Destruction is by far, you might not realize it, but it is one of the better ones. Like, this thing is a mill four, and it wipes out an opponent's spell and trap. Like, it's crazy that they gave this thing a Banish 4 attached to it, but okay. Um, Pod Desires to 1. Um, you have to remember, in a format where, you know, you don't really get a side deck, you're all composed of main deck gas, you know, you kind of have to zoom through all of these lines of play in order to um, set up the, the craziest, you know, boards. Um, Desires, I think, does need to go. You have to you have to limit consistency as much as possible. Kaiser Coliseum. I see that uh, people started to figure out that uh, Kaiser Coliseum is a broken card. Um, I would not be surprised if Master Duel has to see this thing banned eventually. Especially the, the plays at Salamangri we're doing with Promethean Princess... You know, bringing up Raging Phoenix, well, obviously, not maybe so much in Master Duel. But soft-locking your opponent, wheeling the weasel on over to your opponent's field. Um, they just want to get this condition out of the way. Because, uh, you know, you having a Raging Phoenix on the field, your opponent having, you know, their weasel. You're just like, oh, okay, well, I'll just win the game now. Also, Kaiser Coliseum inherently is a broken card. Uh, Birth going to one. R.I.P. Cash Tira, man. Cash must have been doing some crazy, crazy things if they needed to go through and clean up this much 
of the cash era problems. But once again, I mean, let's call it what it is. Birth banishing spells from the graveyard is like Runic's worst nightmare. I, I can't tell you how many times you lose to this garbage. High pot of duality. Uh-huh, this is a Runic crosshair hit. This is Konami taking a look at all the pots and going, huh, these are problems. Uh, we also had Delicious Memory going to one. Hey, look, just like in the TCG, we're finally seeing this stupid good card getting checked. Now, this is, uh, I've been reading comments from people that are like, Synchro Zone going to one. Why would Konami limit Synchro Zone? You see that first line of text up there? Neither player can declare attacks except with Synchro Monsters. This is a floodgate, believe it or not. All right, the fact that only your up uh, if your opponent's not playing a synchro based strategy, you just literally won the game. And once again, you, you know how many since this is Master Duel and people do not have outs in the main deck unless you, well they they should be you know we don't have side decks here. If you flip this, your opponent's not declaring an attack for the rest of the game. That means that you can take. As long as you need to to start setting up, you know, your runic combo, you, you can be slow as a snail doing this. And, you know, eventually you'll reach the point that you're going to spin your opponent out of control and you're going to go into such a good position. It's not even crazy. You're limited to ones, though. I, I know this is huge. All right. Like this is game changing for what they're attempting to do in the one up section. But there have been a lot of problems in Master Duel for sure. So doing the rebalancing and cross-referencing the TCG Noshi G for this is good. I also see purely pretty memory here going to two. Yes, I understand that this uh, this might not be the best, but I mean, it was sucking up multiple, well, uh, immediately answering something from your opponent via this card is uh, actually really, really strong. Now uh, you're gonna notice, uh, huh, so Redox, Tempest, and uh, title here. All of our Dragon War friends are going to three. Is Blaster still at one Purgatory? Did they, did they just move all of this and then just leave Blaster alone? But all of the Dragon Rollers are coming to three in Master Duel. Um, this is definitely going to be a test for the future. Um, even though for whatever awkward reason, title is still banned in both the TCG and the OCG. I don't know what they're afraid of here, but once again, I mean, these cards have the craziest lock on them from being, you know, designed 10 years ago, you know. I, I fear a day that we could see the Dragon Rollers all at three, but, you know, I welcome it as a chance to kind of revisit these and have some fun. Uh, Terror Top going to three. Oh, so this, this format's not going to have goblins for a very long time. But rejoice, ye old five-speed roid players. You're going to get the chance to rev it up. Uh, we also have the Preta Plants coming and moving Orthoscorpio to three. You know, um, the OCG is the only one that still has Orthro at, th at one. And I, I think we'll probably eventually see this move. And Long Dong McGraw here coming back to finally three. Yeah, this, this was one of those hits that was an eternity ago. I bet you forgot that this thing was actually existing out here. But, okay. Interesting stuff. Overall thoughts on this list. R.I.P. Runic Stun. I knew you well. You know, I didn't even play Master Duel, but, you know, this needed checked. This is uh, insane. And, you know, when you're coming down to generic floodgates and these lingering effects that sit on these conditions on your opponent and say that they simply cannot is a crazy devastating thing. That's that's the biggest honest thing here that you're, you're going to have to worry about. And then uh, take note of the vacuum of Dragon Rulers here. Um, I think that this is cool that they're moving these and that they're messing around with the ratios of these. All right. Honestly, the power behind these cards, they're good there. But I think the potential for them is uh, let, let people have fun with them for a format. And then we can rechange them as we need to. But overall, I like this list. I think that this is good. It hits insane high notes. And, well, that's what we need to see right now. So what you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here in a day, guys. Peace. Patrons. Thank you. Ah!
Ball. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.